it's time for you to go home. Your nurse will review all of this information with you, but I wanted to highlight a few important things. You will be able to watch this video after you go home as well. It is available on the Rose Orthopedic and Spine website. You will be given several medications that your nurse will explain. Please follow the directions on the bottle carefully. You may shower after your surgery unless you and I have discussed otherwise. You do not need to cover the incision in the shower. Do not scrub the incision. Just let water run over it and then pat dry. If you have staples, wait 24 hours after the staples are removed to shower so that the staple sites have time to close. Do not submerge the incision in a tub or go swimming until I give you permission. And do not put any lotions, oils, creams, ointments, or gels on your incision. Change the dressing on your incision site every day or more often if necessary. Use large abdominal pads and stretch net dressing. Do not use tape. You should keep the incision covered until it stops draining completely. Swelling can occur around your incision as well as in your legs and feet. To minimize swelling, elevate your legs above your heart whenever possible. Use ice packs carefully. Your nurse will explain the precautions. Continue the deep breathing exercise you learned. Continue to use the incentive spirometer 10 times per hour while awake for at least 7 to 10 days. Eat well-balanced meals and drink plenty of fluids. It is essential that you continue your therapy exercises three times a day as directed by your physical therapy team. As you feel stronger, increase the number of repetitions of each session. Check with me before resuming any recreational activity such as swimming or bicycling. Your nurse will go over any weight-bearing restrictions or any other precautions. If you experience chest pain or shortness of breath, call 911 or go to the emergency room. Notify me immediately if you have any signs or symptoms, including a consistent temperature above 101 degrees, increased redness, swelling, or tenderness around the incision, increased pain despite pain medication, excessive or persistent drainage, drainage that appears thick, yellow, or green, or foul smelling pain, redness, warmth, or swelling in either calf. Please call my office with any questions or concerns. The number is on your discharge paperwork. I will see you at your two-week follow-up appointment. Thank you for choosing the Rose Orthopedic and Spine Center.